doing a review on a series that I've discussed before in a in a in a video about dystopian series, and um, I put that in two parts. So I discuss, discussed six different dystopian series, more kind of YA series, and um, I put this as as number one. So uh, straight away, you know, it's it's a really good series. But the links to those two parts are down below. So I, I said I want to do a proper review on it, and finally I've gotten around to doing it. So the books are Inside Out, book one, Outside In, book two, by Maria V. Snyder. Now I've discussed Maria V. Snyder lots of times, and I think she just creates brilliant books. And this is her YA series. I don't know if we consider the other ones YA, but she also does the Study series and the Glass series. I've just reread this series, so it's all fresh online to do a proper review now. So, um, there's only two books, and all her other series have three books. So I asked Marie V. Snyder if she's going to do um, a third one, and she never really planned on it. Um, but because so many people have asked her, and her daughter, who loves the series as well, wants a third one, she says in the future she probably will end up doing a third one. Basically, it's about... Um, it's dystopian, so it is kind of futuristic, but the whole time it takes place in, it's described as like a cube with four floors, and the cube is like divided into kind of quadrants and sections, and it sounds very kind of like um, machine-like, you know, metal, lots of metal, it is like a giant machine, and it was rust, and just um, like maintenance and basically our main character Trella she is in the basement so all the kind of workers are in the basement kind of like working class and um, they have all kind of like the jobs no one kind of want the cleaning and cooking and rearing the children and things like that so they're in the basement the bottom two floors and then the um, kind of middle class higher up class people are kind of in the top floors and there's always that segregation and there's always that sense of um, kind of like they're enemies even they just, not I won't say despise, but they don't know much about each other so they kind of just don't like that difference and the, the ones living in the top sections of this place look down on those at the bottom like literally and figuratively and the ones at the bottom just resent the ones at the top so much and you can understand how the people in the basement feel because you get to know them more and you get to know Trella the main character she's known as queen of the pipes because she's so small and thin even though she's taller than me she's five foot two and she her job is to kind of go through the pipes and the, the, the duct system um, throughout this place and kind of fix up things in the pipes and that and um she's very she's an amazing character really like maria d snyder creates these great characters because a lot of the time the protagonists they're either very predictable and that they stay the same way throughout or they have very predictable character development like either you know, the quiet girl who gets more confident as the books go on or like the badass who really you know has a heart of gold you can kind of tell where it's going to go, but Marie V. Snyder creates really complex, interesting characters, and Trella in this series is so compelling because, like, people living in the basement, they don't know who their parents are, they're just raised by kind of like a foster mother in, in, a, in a home of ten other children, and she just, she so resents her upbringing and her whole life, and she just hates it, and she tries to keep away from everyone and stick to herself, and it's probably kind of like a defense mechanism. She doesn't want to get too close to people, and unfortunately, that makes her life even worse because everyone else then kind of gets that sense that she thinks they're better. She's better than everyone else, and they pick on her for that. And she doesn't feel that way, but she just, she just she's like she doesn't even want to bother socializing or getting involved in society. Then something happens, and um, like the people living inside this place, that like their big fantasy or. Um, children's stories after something outside and they don't know what it is and then when someone comes to Trella and says there's a chance there's documents to prove that there's an outside 
but she doesn't even want to have hope that there is. So the reason she kind of wants to investigate is just to disprove it all and to save Cog the, the heartache of you know, being disappointed. So she gets involved and then all hell breaks loose. And um, over the two books we see her kind of her anarchy starts to develop and how the society's lines start to blur and like how the uppers and the lowers start to mix and fight and it's just excellent like not only just the brilliant characters and all the relationships but the whole um, development of the society and getting that in that and get and getting that insight into that whole um, segregated world and it's just excellent and then obviously it has that dystopian feel to it too kind of that futuristic science fiction thing and um, I just really enjoy the two books and I think maybe they did a great job so I definitely recommend them okay so now I'm going to do a spoiler review on the two books and if you don't want to know what those spoilers or details are I suggest you should stop now okay so as I said Trella is a great character it's, it's nice to see how she started out you know just hating I don't know if hating is the right word, but she's just so indifferent to everything and resents her life. But then, like, even though she helps this whole kind of rebellion in the second book, she's proud of it in a way, but she doesn't kind of want to acknowledge her responsibility or her role. And I kind of agree with her sometimes, like, like she did all this work, like the others now decide how to run the society. By the end of the second book then she realises like she's kind of like a leader and a protector and she wants to be involved and she's kind of come a long way really and you know, to take that responsibility and to admit this is her home and she wants to protect it and um, so that was all great. Um, her relationships, you know, Riley was just kind of like a really sweet like a character and I'm glad they worked out in the end. Um, my, I love the whole mother, daughter thing going on in the series it was just like it wasn't like the minute they found out they were mother and daughter they ran into each other's arms and crying and happy no it wasn't like that like there was lots of resentment and guilt and anger and it took a while for them to um for Trella really to forgive the mother um Dr Lamont but those sweet moments where they started to get close was just great like when um they found Trella locked in the in the cupboard or not the cupboard, the kind of um closet, closet thing. And she ran in and hugged her and the mother ran in and hugged Trella and was worried about her and wanted to do all these scans and tests and and the first time Trella called her mother it was just so lovely to read. And at the end like she was like nothing's gonna hurt my little girl and they had this lovely, lovely relationship and that wouldn't have been as great to read about if we got that instantly. It was the fact that they struggled and had all this same kind of like negative emotions that we kind of appreciate appreciated it more by the end. So I loved all that. It was so sad when like, um Cog Kogan, whatever his name is. It was so sad when he died and he went out into space. Actually, yeah, I never mentioned that. <laughs> when I did my uh, you know, top six of Sophie series and I was discussing this series I actually let out the biggest spoiler while discussing it. It's hard to describe what it's about. Even when I was doing the spoiler pre review, it was hard for me not to say spaceship or in a giant spaceship. Because it was hard to describe what they're actually in when I was thinking about space. And I didn't really guess they were in space. Like, I didn't know what was going on the outside. Yeah, so it was a big shock. And the fact that you can get this whole series of just, just one spaceship is really great. Um, and then the fact that it was really clever that even though the titles of the books but that um their whole obsession the first one you know is getting finding out what's outside and the whole the second one is defending what's on the inside and the outsiders coming in so that was all exciting I, uh, it's a definitely a YA series that any age can read I think when I say that I mean like not just young adults adults as well it's, it's kind of perfect that way but um, yeah, so I definitely recommend it. I think it's great. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about it. Um, and uh, that's about it really. So thank you very much for watching today. And um, hopefully I'll have a new review for you soon.